thanks everyone. That's the first one of the back nine. What you call a really good drive. All right, welcome back. We're here at Creighton Farms again for the back nine. We went 11 over on the front. It didn't feel like that though. Uh, we just got to tidy up around the greens, but thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate it. If you guys haven't subbed yet, get a grip. Do that for me, pretty please. Thanks, I appreciate that. Let's try not to uh, duff every chip and be a little bit tidier around the greens here. Back nine, Creighton Farms, here we go. Let's see, I don't know where this hole goes. Can try to hit straight over that first bunker maybe? I think there's a fairway behind it. I think that works. I think that plays. All right, good ball. Right in the fairway. Let's go, we're off. All right, we got 169 nice yards. Uh, gonna hit a seven. We got a great drive, so we have a good look here. Make something happen, just need a good approach shot. See where it goes. That is dead straight and directly in the bunker. That is not good. Yeah, it's a good ball, but I was probably aimed there. So it is what it is. We might be the bunker, we might be short. So we begin again with the short game. Let's go. Down slope towards the pin as well. Just need to get it out. It should roll towards uh, towards the hole. Well, it didn't go as far as I wanted. Barely got out too. So this is another one of the putts where I don't really know. It looks straight. It's probably going to be some movement that I don't see. But I'm just going to go right at it. Didn't hit it. Got super nervy. That's a bogey, which is fine. That's okay. It's okay. As long as we keep the bogeys are good out here. Can't be stacking up triples and doubles like we did last time. So that was a little sad, to be honest. But starting off with a bogey. Let's go. This hole looks awesome. Pan to that. Get a, get a little look at that. Sun just ripping off the dew. All right, it's number two handicap, par five here. So we got ourselves some work, apparently. Five, 551 from here. And we just need a good tee ball. And then we'll go to the next shot. It's a great tee ball. We love that. Please roll a little bit, don't just plug. Saw so bounce right in the middle of the fairway. Drives are decent right now, but again, that really doesn't help around the green, and that's where the majority of the strokes are gained and lost. So, but we're in a good spot on this hole. Let's go. All right, well, we got a great look. Um, I think this hole kind of demands a layup, unless if you're, unless if you're that guy, and I'm not, pal. So I'm clocking 296, so that's not a thing. Uh, I'm gonna try to lay up down low on that hill. You can kind of just do whatever you want on this. You can lay up to whatever yardage, but it's still, it's like 220. So like the farthest point, I think about 230 to the creek. I'm not gonna hit my, uh, I'm gonna hit a five. I'm not gonna hit my hybrid because God knows where that thing's gonna go. Oh, uh, nice little five iron, get up there. Oh, that was actually pretty bad. Blanked and left, but we'll be up, hopefully. That was a bad shot. We were due for one of those. The irons have been decent all day, so we were due for that. Pushed it left, hit behind it. We're up though, we have a shot, a long shot, and a fun shot. It's the easiest, most wide open shots that you fuck up, you know? All you gotta do is just hit it straight. Downhill, everything's funneling towards the green, but you know, it's too easy. You gotta find ways to make this game more challenging than it is. And I specialize in that. All right, we put ourselves in the rough here. 134, I'm gonna hit a nine. Spin to win. Got a sip though. Not gonna. You already know it's not gonna. Fuck me. All right, this chip uh, sucks because where the pin's at is right off a down slope. So truthfully, I can't really get it tight. Uh, I think on the green is very nice. I 
That's about as good as I can do. There's a slope on the top of the top of the ridge there that funnels away from the pin. All right, we have a par putt. Shocker. We're due. We're so due. Ooh, this uh, after the pin goes down that way, so we don't want to be long on this. Went more right than I thought. That's okay. We're not really giving these putts a chance. Just two putting everything. All right. Next time I have a putt, we'll give it. We'll give it a rip. But that's a bogey. We're okay. We're okay with that. Okay. We're not imploding yet. We're fine. I think I can get over those bunkers on the left. That might be the line. There's a lot of room to miss on the right side. Try to put myself in the fairway. The green is super duper elevated, so I don't want to be in the rough trying to approach that. It's perfect. Yep. I actually saw that ball kick backwards off the fairway, so. But it's a good ball. It's a great ball. We're in the fairway. Let's go. Hmm, it's 156. Full eight, maybe, or like a week seven. Decisions, decisions. I'm gonna go full eight. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna go full eight, but if I'm short, we might see some action coming back down this hill because it is up there. Be good. Go, 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 go. Stop. Oh my god, got up there by about a foot. It was a good ball. Needed about 10 more yards, but that's just uh, it's a yardage thing, you know. What are you gonna do? I like the shot though, it's right at the pin the whole time. Is this even a green? Uh, this is like a green that just goes to fringe without any warning. Uh, this putt's absolutely wild. I know I said we give it a go. I don't think there's any options to not give it a go because we have to go uphill and then it immediately goes back down. So this putt could be really bad. Or it could be fantastic. We gotta aim a little bit to the right of it, let it fall towards the pin. But man, it's all about pace on this one for sure. That has to go, there's no way. I think I just got caught in the dew a little bit. Well, we almost got the release, but we didn't. That's tough. Is it actually downhill? I think it's flat. I'm confused, boys. Couldn't tell you. No clue. Looks downhill. It's not acting like it's downhill, though, whatsoever. I like the line on it, though, 100%. Um, that's a bogey. I guess that, that would qualify as a three putt, but that's not that's not easy from there, to be honest. Tricky, though. It looks downhill. It's not. He got me. He won that round, for sure. I just got swindled. Uh, part four here looks fun downhill bunkers left and right just drive it the same way we have been might be bunky we go go over a little bit oh yes clear the bunker by about three feet kick in the fairway let's go fairways and reg have been really high percentage today we love that it's 170 we're gonna go at it with a Full six here, just because short is like super dangerous. And try to, if it lands on the green and it goes far, that's okay, we're fine with that. That is left. Please stay on the center of the earth, the face of the earth. Well, the yardage was right, we just bailed. We bailed hard, and that's okay. Chip and a putt. How about a chip on the green and two putts for another bogey, let's lock that in. Not a standard chip and putt on any hole out here, especially this one. We're gonna have to land it on the fringe, left side, and it's gonna roll towards the pin. Coming out of the rough here, super thick, shitty angle. Just a whole lot of action though, really fun. Why do I keep doing that? It's gotta roll. I don't know. I don't, I don't really know why I keep doing that. I think it's just cause my feet are below the ball. I don't really know. 
should probably choke up more. I'm not committing to any of these chips though. This is a chip that is relatively golfable, you know? Bye. See, that's, it's textbook chip. We gotta be, we gotta be more on the fringe with the chipping instead of in the rough, because I'm getting torn up through there. I gave her, and moved. Double, whatever, dude. You know, you duff a chip, that's gonna happen. That's gonna happen when you duff a chip. All right, par four. This one looks short-ish. So based on driving it, I want to par this. This is a hole that I desire a par on. Should work. Very high, but should be fine. It's another fairway. Drives are good. Drives are good. Other things aren't, but the drives are good. All right, we got 80 yards. This is the first hole where I've had a little wedge in. Should be nice. Now, I haven't full swung this club. This is not mine. It's 56, right? Should be just standard. 80, full swing-ish. Nice and easy, breezy, beautiful cover, girl. Not at all. I had a feeling that was going to happen. I don't know why, but I was never comfortable over that full swing in this. With this club, not mine. I'm going to go over this bunker. It pins like... 10 feet past the bunker or the edge of the lip and then the green slopes off hard so you really need a good shot here i gotta get loft on it so it sits Let's sit spin it could be good or it could have rolled off we'll see I landed by the pin i don't know yeah this is for par let's give it a chance it's going a little left i think let's give her a go here Too much go. That was a go for sure. Good job, me. Thanks, everybody. All right, that's a bogey. Another one, as Sir Khaled would say. Uh, we're parless through four on the back, five on the back, maybe. We're, we're looking for it. We're going to find it soon. Fading a bit left. Just hit it in the water. Jesus Christ. That is trash. I don't even know what to say. That went 160, 150 as a five iron. I don't know, as a high fade. It was ugly. Well, we'll go drop up there. Par's off the table. All right, I'm dropping on the tee box because I don't really know where the drop zone is, to be honest with you. I don't know the yardage either. Um, we need something nice and tidy here. It looks like it might be 60 yards ish. That's pretty good. That's pretty cool, man. I like that. All right, we had a nice shot up here. Nice little chip. Uh, this should be just standard. Yeah, I'm just gonna tap it in. There's no way I miss, right guys? Right, guys? Right. Okay, that's a good bogey. I mean, honestly, getting the water off the tee, good up and down from maybe 65 out. It's not what we wanted, but it definitely could have been way, way worse. So we'll take the bogey there. Par four, uphill through the fairway. Just uh, need another fairway here, give myself a chance at a nice approach. Nothing crazy. Hit behind that, but it should be fine. Hit way behind it. Uh, yeah, it's fine. As you can see, I hit behind the ball, but it went straight. It didn't go very far, so we're going to have a tough approach shot. It's all good, mate. 
We got a 197, it's uphill. I'm tired of being short. So I'm gonna, mm, this is stupid. I'm gonna hit a four. Yeah. Even the four try to get up, the pin's like kind of, in relation to the trees, it's more to the right side, so. You get a fun line here though, just a whole lot of action on this golf course. off the earth. I think we're dead. I think that's just me. I mean, yeah, contact was good. Club face was wide open. I guess it's because I'm downhill and I just came down like this. I have no clue. Um, yeah, so that ball went out of bounds, pretty sure. So we're gonna go up there and see what's up with that. Uh, all right, we're in someone's backyard. We found it. Here's my lie. It's not amazing, came through this tree here. But we're up and uh, we had a fun chip at it. I don't know how far this is actually. What do you think, 70? About that. Yeah, so I gotta swing this, I think, a little bit. Swing it, I think I'm gonna bail left, if anything. Try to get myself a putt for par. Get over that little hill. Did not get over the little hill. I'll go right. All right. I, uh, I could have swung harder, but you know, if I caught it thin, I just blasted in the woods and we didn't want to do that. So we do have a putt. It's not an easy one, it never is. So how about another bogey? Uh, definitely going right once we hit more than halfway. So I'm gonna go high left side, see what happens. Two putt here is the goal. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> I mean, I knew it was going to be long, but it, <laughs> like, it should not have been that long. My God. Yeah, that's on me. I thought it I was going to. I mean, I should have lagged it. I don't know why I was trying to make it, which is that was stupid. You're close. Yeah. A little less on it might have gone in, but we found ourselves over here. This is for what? This is for bogey? This is for bogey. Holy fuck, I'm not even gonna look at it, bro. Who cares at this point? That is a mean upslope. Holy shit, this is a blow up hole. No look, don't care. It's a double. That is a double. I mean, that that was that was gnarly. After the cup, that was gnarly. Gotta get the lag putting going. We don't we don't practice lag putting. It's just kind of feel, and we don't feel it. We got nothing going. All right, we got a par three, par five finish here. Par here, birdie eighteen. We walk away with some dignity. a bit right for me. All right, it did. No! It stopped on the fringe, you kid. How does that not release? I'm gonna go fart on that thing. I was good, good distance. Just a bit left, which was fine. There is a huge slope, but I, we'll get up there and you'll see where it snagged. That's unbelievable. I think that's just because it's dewy out. That would have been funneling right towards the hole. All right, I'm bringing another ball to see what, what would have happened if uh, it rolled on the fringe. Just for science. All right, since we need some magic, I'm gonna putt without a glove on. See what all the hype's about. Check out the tan. Ladies love it. I got caught in this rough. What would have happened if it went like? That would have been cool to watch. That would have been fun. All right, so we got downhill coming out of the rough. Let me tuck my glove in because it's off now. This is so, so extra. I don't know how you guys do this. We're looking for a par, right? That's all we're looking for. So let's get it kind of tight, maybe. Could go in. That came out so hot. That didn't touch the rough at all. Well, it's honestly not horrible. That was hot, though. I thought the rough was going to take it a little bit. That was clean out the rough. Crispy. Crispy. 
That's a good putt. That's a good putt. And a good par. Thanks, everyone. That's the first one of the back nine. And we have one hole left. Let's go. Let's go, baby. You had a par when you took your glove off. That's fucked up that you'd even say that. I'm not gonna lie, you can feel the club so much better. It is, I, I get it, I get it. But here's my thing, hear me out. I'm lazy. All right, we got a par five to finish here at Creighton. Um, I like what I'm seeing. I think we get on in two here. Hope that's not in the bunker. That's what you call a really good drive. That was, that was actually solid. That was one of the best drives of the day. That didn't move. <laughs> uh, we got 307 to home. I don't think I have that. How long is this part five? 549. 549, so 307. How far is my drive? I don't know, not very far. Um, I could hit my three wood, but that's been just kind of all over the place. I don't know. I'm gonna hit it just because we haven't hit it all day. You might be thinking, oh, you're gonna fuck up your round. Just it's already fucked. Doesn't matter. That's not very good. Hope there's not poop up there. I think there's poop. Uh, uh, this club has been giving me a lot of problems recently. I don't know why. It used to be one of the best. All right, luckily we kicked over this giant creek here. It's pretty big, but uh, we lucked out, skipped over it. Let's get the yardage. Well, okay, we need to go. Uh, let's try to get on the green here. It's not, doesn't look too far. So it's it's achievable. Out of some thick shit though. 177. Hmm. I'm gonna hit a master class six. Just everything we've always wanted out of today, right here in this moment. Last iron shot of the round, be great. It was hit really well. It's just left. Right in that bunker. Unlucky. Hit very well, though. I guess I was just aimed that way. That didn't move an inch. So, alignment issue, skill issue. Up and down for par out of the bunker. Hasn't happened all day. Now's the time. I nuked that thing. That was awesome. Very well placed bunker, Mr. Jack. Got me. This guy knows what he's doing when he builds a course. All right. We got up and down for par. This sand does look a little bit more dry. There's hope. I like what I'm seeing here. I'm liking the energy. I'm telling you, man. I think it was the I think it was the wet sand all day that was really killing me. Cause that that's powdery. You can you can tell. Look at that. that is nice and oh yeah. All day it was uh it was wet. That was a golf shot. It was wet. Yeah, it was a good golf shot. I mean, I'm typically not as bad out of the bunker as. as what's been on display today that's kind of normal um but yeah it is what it is what are you gonna do except play again in two hours because we are huh yeah there it is there it is Good par to finish. Good up and down out of the sand. Sandy par. Love to see it. Well, um, that was Creighton Farms. As you could tell, pretty difficult course, but absolutely beautiful. Probably one of the coolest rounds I've ever played. Shout out to them again for having me out here. If you guys enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Hit that sub button. I'm out of breath. Long outro. But thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Peace out. You know you're only pars on the back nine without a glove, right? Yeah, but they're also both like three-footers.